we have now a database for the usage uh, but we don't have any usage in the database so now we are going to create a new class and a new layout for uh, the user sign up so I will just go to rest and layout with a new layout resource file and I will name it this file sign up and then just OK and this is our new design for the sign up page so if we go to activity main this is our main XML file and we can go to text here and we will see that if there is a text view uh, up, it says render program so we can just go to text and just normally edit the text there and then write diet go back to the sign and we will see that we have some text here just want to try to zoom in a bit and here we see the text so if you just press the text you can see that you get a different types of uh, uh, properties on the right side but let's leave it for now and we have uh, our sign up here, so we would just go to com.netport.stramdiet and go to new and java class and we will make the sign up class so we have created the sign up class now and we go to main activity and here we can see that uh, the main activity extends at activity and we have an onCreate method that says that we will have this uh, view so I want to have the same for the sign up so I have sign up now and onCreate and of course we need to extend app compatibility here in sign up java class and we don't want the layout activity main we want to layout sign up okay now we need to go to the manifest and here we can see somewhere that we have the activity main activity here it is so we need also to add the activity sign up I just want to run this code just to see that everything is works okay and it says hello world okay so that's good so now I want to go to main activity and I want to go a bit down here and I want to check if uh, the user is logged in or if check if there is user in the user table just open Chrome to just explain what we are doing now so I want to count rows in user table so if we go to my project here and click on inspect You will see that I have a table named user so what I'm thinking of is that if this table is uh, empty then I want to go to the class sign up 
so number of rows equals db count and the table name usage if the number of rows is less than one then we need to go to the new activity so the method for going to the new activity is to create an intent so an intent i equals new intent and the main activity and we want to go to sign up and then we go to start activity I. with the lower s not capital S. Okay, so I will also just put a text here that says that uh, you will be taken to sign up. So it can say something like you are only few away from signing up so when we see this text we know that the user should be uh, moved to the sign up class so I'll just run this code now when a few fields away from sign up and we have something says diet here so we know we are now in this design called sign up and we are in this class the sign up class so that is very very good now I'm going to put some fields inside here and uh, a logo maybe and a couple of buttons.